Hey guys, Kevin, this be another movie review for guys, continuing my 31 Days of Horror series. This, of course, is day five. I know this should be day six, but I did not have any time whatsoever to watch a movie. And this is probably going to be something that happens in um, on Mondays. I'm not really going to have any time, really. Um, so what I'm going to do tomorrow is I will watch two. I will definitely watch two. I can't watch another one today. I just can't. But I will definitely watch two um to tomorrow definitely because there's one I can watch that's like an hour so I can do that and then I can watch another one so I will definitely watch two films tomorrow um but like I told you guys 31 days of horror films now this movie I'm going to be reviewing I essentially really had no expectations for this movie whatsoever well I kind of did but you guys know I'm trying to be 31 days of horror films well I didn't have 30 one films and I needed a placeholder and that is essentially what this movie was this movie was just a placeholder it was a placeholder I heard this movie was really stupid I heard it was really dumb and I really wasn't expecting much from it it was kind of those ones that like I told you guys there are gonna be some films that I have on here just for shits and giggles I essentially thought this was going to be one of those films and that is the 1985 horror comedy reanimator um reanimator like i said i really didn't think much of this movie i really didn't think it was going to be something that i was really going to enjoy i thought it was gonna be something really cheesy and very dated and to my surprise i have to say after watching reanimator is it cheesy yes but that's part of the reason why the movie is as good as it is because if it wasn't cheesy the movie would probably not be as good i actually really loved reanimator i think it's a really great horror film but it's also very funny, and I'm going to talk about why um, it's actually very funny, and it's, it's actually very interesting um, what this movie is. Because essentially the plot of this movie does very much sound like Frankenstein, but it's very much not Frankenstein at all, I would say. I don't think it's really like Frankenstein at all. Basically, this movie, we focus on this, uh, this basically, this... Uh, this scientist who works at this college, basically, he's, he's a student at a university, Herbert West, and he has just brought someone back to life, basically, and there's weird, there's this weird conspiracy going on exactly with what he does, and we realize that he has this thing, basically, what's, what's it called? I'm trying to remember what it's called, um, what's it called? region he has this reanimating region that basically can bring dead things back to life and before he knows it he basically you know whenever these things come back to life they're evil and he eventually realizes that he's creating something that he really doesn't know how to stop and that basically is the plot of reanimator and it is a pretty simple plot but there are some things in this movie that i definitely really did enjoy starting off with the acting in this film which i found very interesting i have to say a lot of the actors in this film are very over the top, and then some of them aren't, um, which I actually really appreciate, I have to say. Like I said, going into this, I was expecting a really cheesy film, and do we get some of that here? Yes, but that's part of the reason why Jeffrey Combs is as good as he is as Herbert West, because Herbert West needs to be over the top. This character is insane. He really is. I mean, the whole movie, we don't know if this guy is insane, if he really knows what he's doing, if he really is bringing these things back to life. We don't really know what's going on with him. We eventually do realize... But I thought he did a very good job doing that. He was as over the top as you can imagine. You could tell he was also having a lot of fun with the role and definitely did a very good job. They also kind of portray him first as a villain. You really don't know what's going to happen with him. And I thought he did a very good job, definitely. And eventually they do reveal what's going on with him and what's happened in his past. And you actually really do care for him as a character. And I was surprised by how much we cared for him. I thought they did a very good job with that. I definitely thought he was really great in the film. And uh, I thought it, it, what they do, what they eventually do with him really made his character a lot more vulnerable. However, I should say that he's actually not the main character in this film. The main character in this film is actually played by Bruce Abbott as Dan, who basically is the everyman of this movie. There's nothing that's special about him except that he is friends with Herbert and he goes to this university with Herbert, but he's kind of the normal one. He's pretty much if we were to meet up with Herbert, and I thought that was a very um, compelling thing that they did because it really put us in this position of what if we were to meet this guy, how would this turn out? And even just, you know, 
Herbert really doesn't want him to get involved with this, but he sort of discovers what Herbert is doing, and they're basically forced to work together, and the buying that they have is definitely very interesting, because of course, Dan doesn't know if he's working with an evil mastermind here, and I thought that was definitely very interesting. I thought they worked very well together, and definitely did a very good job. Um, Barbara Crampton as Megan, Dan's girlfriend, I thought she was really good in the movie, definitely. I thought she, for the most part, did a very good job, um... And uh, I thought she was... Actually, it's some pretty emotional scenes, definitely. Something I did like is that the movie wasn't afraid to get emotional. There were some scenes that are a bit emotional because she doesn't know what's going on and she's kind of freaking out. And it's understandable why she's freaking out. And the chemistry between these two is very genuine and it definitely was handled very, very well, I have to say. And the only person to really talk about is David Gale as Dr. Carl Hill, who is as over-the-top as you can imagine. He is the definition of a fantastic villain um, for a movie like this, and he definitely did a very good job at separating himself from the character of Frankenstein entirely. As you know from the cover of this movie, he does end up becoming reanimated, and he does end up becoming evil, and he's very creepy, but also very, very Funny. I mean, that's something I want to say right off the bat, is that you, with the thing I love about this movie is that they don't portray the scenario, um, they portray the scenario in a serious way, but it's played around as funny, and he definitely did a very good job with that. He had some fantastic comedic abilities, and I thought was definitely very well done. The directed by Stuart Gordon um, is also very interesting in this movie, because... I couldn't really tell what his tone was at first. At first it was like, well, do you want me to take this seriously or do you not? And I kind of came down to it as he just wanted to make this something completely different from Frankenstein entirely. And I think for the most part did a very good job with that, um, directing, you know, making it something completely different because it doesn't feel like Frankenstein. Like I said, the weird thing about this movie is that they're taking this situation very seriously but it's so serious to the point where it's almost funny, and I thought it was definitely very interesting that we saw that, because it's kind of showing that these guys don't really know what they're doing, but there are points where you are supposed to take this seriously. I thought Stuart Gordon did a very good job with that. He knew when to take this seriously, and he knew when not to, and that's something I thought was definitely very well done, and I really enjoyed. He also made this movie quite creepy. There are some points that this movie is quite creepy. There are some points this movie is kind of, you know, messed up, actually very messed up. Um, not as messed up as The Omen, but it still is pretty messed up as a film. Um, but he definitely really liked, he definitely did that very well, and I definitely really enjoyed that. Um, the screenplay, though, is the thing that surprised me the most, because like I said, I did not expect this movie to be funny. I was expecting it to be a so bad, it's a good movie. It's actually funny, though, and it's mainly because of the way they portray these creatures. They portray them as monsters. They portray them as in a funny way, though. Kind of like they're kind of out of their control and they don't know how to handle them. And it's honestly kind of funny seeing what they're going through and the way that these creatures are doing things. It's so over the top that it's ridiculous and you can't help but laugh. And I thought they definitely did a very good job with that. And the deadpan humor is definitely something I really enjoyed because you wouldn't think you're supposed to take this, you know, you're, you would think you're supposed to take this seriously, but there are some points where you're not. And I thought they did a very good job with that because if you were to take it seriously, it would be a terrible movie. It's that simple. And I think um, they realized in the movie that if we were to take this seriously, it'd be ridiculous. So they were kind of just like, fuck it, let's not take it seriously. There are certain parts of the movie that you aren't supposed to take seriously, and it works very, very well, and I definitely really like that. I also found the story very interesting in this movie. You don't fully understand what's going on, and they really don't ever tell you what's going on. This is one of those movies where you kind of have to suspend your disbelief, because they don't really give you, you know, reasons on why does every single person that they bring back to life, um you know, suddenly become evil. That's kind of the joke of the movie. They don't really focus on science much in this movie. It's very much of just a suspend your disbelief. It's kind of in its own little world, and that's something I really enjoy. I didn't expect it to be like that, but that very much is the nature of this movie. It's in its own little world. It's kind of trapped there, and that's something I definitely really enjoyed. My only real gripe with the film is that there were quite a few times where I really didn't know what to think of some scenes. There were some scenes that felt serious, but they were kind of funny, and because of that tone, it's a very mixed tone, and I think the film does know what it wants to be, but there were some scenes where I really couldn't tell what we were supposed to get out out of it, if we were supposed to find it funny 
or if we were supposed to find it serious. And that really is my one thing with the movie. My other thing with the movie is that I felt it was a bit too short, honestly. I really did. I felt it was a bit too short, and I felt like it could have been a little bit longer than it was. Um, not too much longer, but just a few minutes, definitely. I felt it was just a bit too short. Um, but... I think it was fine that they went with the length that they did, but I felt like we could have gotten a much or a, a more concise story. But the movie is not that interested in the story as it is in just telling a interesting, you know, telling a different version of Frankenstein, which I think they did a very interesting job with. And it is different from Frankenstein, which I really do appreciate, I have to say. The cinematography, like I said, is funny. It's not meant to be taken seriously. I mean, if you take any of this seriously, you're going to hate this movie. Don't take anything you see of the dead seriously, because the dead, it is ridiculous. I mean, once you see that dead cat, it really doesn't get... It really doesn't get more serious from there. I mean, you really can't take something like him bringing a dead cat back to life. You can't really take that seriously. And the movie understands that. They understand there are things you're just not supposed to take seriously. And I think they did a very good job with that. But the cinematography actually looks very horrifying. I mean... It looks kind of pretty realistic, definitely. I mean, it was all practical effects that they used to this movie, and I think it turned out very, very well. Yes, some of it looks silly, but it does look pretty scary. I mean, if you were to, like, see something like this, it probably would terrify the shit out of you, and they did a very good job with that. I enjoyed that, and that was something I really enjoyed. Something I also really appreciate is the score to this movie. The score is clearly, definitely knows what it wants to be. The score is very cheesy, and it points down something like Psycho, which I actually thought was kind of funny, because I felt like a points the film was spoofing um certain horror movies and trying to make homages to them and you definitely see some homages to psycho and they should see some homages to especially in the beginning you definitely see some norman bates in the character of herbert west i mean eventually you realize that he actually is the good guy and that he's not the bad guy here but in the very beginning you're kind of like oh is this going to go in a norman bates direction and the film is actually quite unpredictable i didn't really know how this movie was going to end and that's something i definitely really enjoyed i didn't really expect that going in this movie but yeah yeah, I have to say, I came out kind of being like, that was actually kind of surprising. I didn't expect that to happen. I thought the ending of this movie was very strange, but again, really went with the idea of just these two guys that have no idea what they're doing. And throughout a lot of this movie, that's really what this is, is that these two guys have no idea what they're doing. They don't know why this is going so wrong. They don't really know how to control it. So honestly, there's no way that they can get out of this. And it kind of is a sad ending, but it's also a pretty funny ending. The editing, as I said, was fine to this movie. The movie starts without opening credits, which I thought was kind of strange. It actually starts with something then goes to opening credits, which I thought was interesting the way they did that. Um, but I will definitely say that overall, I really enjoyed um, a reanime overall. It was surprisingly a very fun movie. It does have some serious moments in there. But for the most part, it's a very much its own thing. It's grounded in its own reality. It's a movie that you can't really question a lot. However, like I said, there are a few times where I didn't really know what to make out of it. And there were some scenes that I came across as just weird and some scenes that I couldn't tell if they were supposed to be funny or not. And for that reason, I am going to give Rian Mayer a 4.5 out of 5 or an A-. minus. I surprisingly really enjoyed this movie a lot more than I did. And I think if you guys watch this movie, you will definitely enjoy it a lot more. Just go into it knowing you're not supposed to take what you see at face value. It's really not supposed to be taken that seriously. And a lot of it is just for laughs. And that's something I definitely really appreciate. And also, definitely support the movie too because you can clearly tell that these direct, you know, that the writer are trying to make something different from Frankenstein, and I think definitely succeeded with that. This is based off a book, but I don't really know too much about it, um, so I can't really say too much about it, but definitely check out the book too if you haven't, because I heard the book is very similar to the movie. But that is my review of Reanimator. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys saw, the movie, uh, what, let me know what you guys saw this movie. You have seen it. Um, I overall really did enjoy it, and I will see you guys in my next video, which I cannot wait for, because it will be for the season premiere of The Flash, and I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.